much you just wanna mm, 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 mm. oh okay right recording right let's do this so as you folks know for a, quite some time now there's been this whole 130 project list and we've been asking around about it for quite some time asking people in terror rebels and i pretty much got to a point of where i just went to the media marketing team leader person and said to him may i have the list for these 130 projects and his response to me was this you're not going to believe it and i've got a video coming out in the morning but vegas and i decided we would get this information out and uh, vegas has kind of forced my hand so how uh, it's I don't know how someone can say this to me. His response is. Oh my goody, giddy, giddy aunt. I think we need to get you a bit more involved. You have been a great ambassador for TR and done a lot for the community too. <laughs> oh God. So anyway, we got the project list for you folks. Now this project list um, on top of getting you the project list we're giving you this website and it gives you the ability to look at quite a lot of analytics and you can see all of the validator stuff and in between now like i said vegas has kind of forced my hand on this one so i've got no choice but to do the video now and as you can see if i can click correctly these are the projects that were being withheld by marketing as to why they were withholding them I don't know. It's normally down to some kind of power struggle. People trying to claim a piece of the pie for themselves. And who knows why they withheld it. Now, let's get it all onto one page. It's 71 projects and we've got loads on here. We've even got Talus, um, dot art on here. And <clears throat> well, there you go, Talus Protocol. There's so many more projects we need to get on here as well as finding more projects that want to get put on here and finding these projects through d apps and this is all coming down to a video that's dropping on the let it burn channel in the morning and it's all about changing the burn tax on the community pool and instead of sending it to burn send the 35 percent to the d apps so we can help d apps and help onboarding and this is something myself and vegas have spoken about quite a lot and it's important to keep you folks in the know-how and the fact that this has been restricted for you from you folks for quite some time is just ridiculous and myself and I mean it's public information right I just no matter how hard I tried I couldn't find this and it annoys me that I couldn't find it and it was just something that was public information that they're claiming to hold and I do you know it's it's horrible to see the response that we got and it totally sucks and it all kind of goes back, doesn't it, to the issue with not getting... There's been five tweets from the official Terror Rebels account, right? But the guy who runs this account is... <clears throat> he's the person and the reason why I left Terror Rebels. Um, step back as media spokesperson because he's just not a very nice person. He's not very nice to me and he fed me quite a lot of um, false information and... He actually is in charge of this and it was supposed to be handed to me and it was all some kind of crazy power struggle and I guess that's why they wanted me out. Now, you'll notice that you see more official information coming out on this account and he's come out and stated many times that he runs the Twitter account and it's him who does it. And do you know what I mean? All of this stuff, right, should be going out on the actual account because it's official stuff, isn't it? And it just goes to show, I mean... He's part of the marketing team still, which is ridiculous because Terror Rebels said that they punished him. But that's not punishing someone, isn't it? Putting someone into a position of power is not, not punishing them. It's just saying to them, you can do whatever you want. Here you go. So this is the main reason why these projects have been um, withheld from you. And it totally sucks. It It just totally, totally, totally sucks that this has happened and... We had to go over them to get these. And when I found out the reason why these have been withheld, it's just ridiculous. And we shouldn't be 
in a position where once again there's all these little secret little groups and it's just not good on in my opinion this is not what we've built up here at hcc and look let it burn and the community around us we've built up an honest community built with honest people built on trust transparency truth and not holding things back like that it's just not on so folks just know that every single one of these projects is still working on the classic net and as you can see you've got all the links you would need to any of these okay it's not like you can't just not find these people you can literally just go boom oh look that's their website all right cool okay so what about their twitter oh okay so it takes you straight to their twitter as well okay so you can actually go in and look at all these different cool projects that are there ready and raring to go waiting for the 26th and why have we waited until god knows when they would have given it to us right let me know folks let me know what you folks think about that because this is in my opinion just preventing positive movement you folks should have known about this weeks ago and it would just it's more positive movement and momentum for the overall movement itself of the lunar classic uh community and for anyone who caught the coinage space on Twitter, you'll know that I spoke on there and there was no one there from Terror Rebels to back Terror Rebels up. There was, and I, I felt so cornered, if that makes sense. Like I had, it, it wasn't easy for me to just get on that stage and start talking and it was kind of diverted away from it. And if you go back and listen to that space, you will hear about them kind of saying, well, we're... Terra Classic is the chain that's the damaged goods and it should be kind of like you need to go and listen to it to yourself to make your own judgment from it but it wasn't very nice to hear from someone who supports the Lunar Classic movement but at the same time they allowed me to come on and speak they allowed me to speak to all of the people and they didn't shut me down they just kind of politely diverted the conversation which is a total normal thing to do um, and ultimately, he's just trying to show everybody that, do you know what I mean? The, the truth behind everything. So I'm looking forward to more episodes of it. And I feel a bit more confident now uh, doing coverage of it and actually showing you folks. So look forward to more coverage on the Duquan situation and sort of hearing his admission. Because like Coinage said to us today, he's he said when he took up that interview that He's going to ask whatever he wants to ask and he expects Duquan to answer it, to be quite honest. So, folks, it's looking really good for the movement. This in itself is amazing. Links to this in the description. Um, I'll add the links in for the validators list as well. You can see all cool different kinds of breakdowns. And yeah, make great use of this new tool, folks, and just stay safe out there, okay? None of this is financial advice. Um, and yeah, just be aware of scammers, doppelgangers, anybody pretending to be me. If you haven't subscribed there, consider subscribing. I know you Americans are up at this time for us English people because it's kind of normal for you. Hang on. What's the time? Oh, 2.26 p.m. in Washington, isn't it? Very nice. Right, folks, stay safe out there. We'll catch you in the next one. Shroom.